Hi, welcome back. Today is another recipe in the playlist Patisserie and Baking Basics. We're going to make a classic continental buttercream. Um, it's a very light, fluffy buttercream, which we're going to make with cooked sugar. So let's do this. For this buttercream recipe, and obviously you'll find the recipe back in the description below as well, we've got 500 grams of pure unsalted butter, we got 250 grams of sugar, another 50 grams of sugar, 50 milliliters of water, two whole eggs and two egg yolks, and some vanilla essence. This is a really amazing buttercream recipe, and I'll talk you through it step by step. So we'll start by making the syrup. So we're going to add our sugar to a saucepan and our uh, water. We're just going to stir it a little bit until all the sugar is dissolved in the water. But then we're never going to stir it again. Otherwise the whole thing would crystallize. See, once the sugar is nearly dissolved in the water, I'm just going to stop stirring. We're going to boil this syrup to 122 degrees Celsius or 250 Fahrenheit. Now, if you don't have a sugar, if you have a sugar thermometer, obviously use it. But if you don't have a sugar thermometer, don't worry. I'll show you a quite cool trick to know when we reach that temperature. We're going to wait now until this boils. And then we're going to wash down the sides to again to avoid crystals falling into the syrup and we need a clear syrup so we don't want to have any crystals in it. I'm using a copper saucepan and for this kind of tissue work a uh, copper saucepan is ideal because it has a perfect equal distribution of the heat. So if you make a lot of patisserie then it's definitely worth investing in a copper saucepan. So our sugar syrup is starting to boil and we can't stir anymore because otherwise it will crystallize and another thing that can happen is that the you can see the sugar crystals hanging on the side that they fall in the syrup and again it will crystallize so here's a trick take a bit of water and a very clean brush make sure your brush is clean and then just wash these crystals down into the syrup just like that and then they can't fall in and we'll have a perfect syrup just all around just wash them down now the sides of my saucepan are clean and we don't risk the syrup crystallizing so our syrup is boiling and it's going to take about 10 minutes now to reach that 121 degrees celsius or 250 fahrenheit so once the syrup has been boiling for five minutes we're going to start whisking the eggs. So we've got two eggs and two egg yolks. I'm going to put them in my mixer. And I'm going to add the rest of our sugar. Okay, so my syrup has been boiling for about 10 minutes. And I think we're nearly there. So all I do is I take two spoons but I've warmed them up in hot water, otherwise the sugar would set way too fast. And then I'm just going to dip the back of one into the syrup. And then just pull them together. And if I can pull them apart, we're not there yet. See? If the strand breaks, or if the sugar strand breaks, then we're not there yet. So we need to keep cooking for a little while longer. Okay, let's check this again. And that's it. You see, that's our correct temperature. We're slowly going to pour this onto our whisking egg.
So we're going to whisk this now until our mixture is about the room temperature. It's going to take maybe about 7-8 minutes, not more. Okay, so our sugar and egg mixture is room temperature. We're going to take the whisk out and we're going to change our whisk for what I call, I call this the butterfly. So now we're going to put it on a slow speed and we're going to put our butter pieces in. Now this butter has been out of the fridge for two hours. You really need a room temperature. Cold butter does not work. So we're just going to put them in one by one. And I'm also going to add some vanilla. Once the butter is nearly all incorporated, we're just going to uh, beat it now on a faster speed until we got a nice creamy butter. Cream. That's it. And there you have it. Perfect, light, fluffy, creamy buttercream. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and see you next time.